guys, Sophia here for my great challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I am baking bread. <laughs> Not bread that I made myself. Have you ever heard of this company called Wild Grain? They send you a box uh, every month or whenever you want it and it's filled with pre-made breads and pastries and pasta but they're not cooked all the way they come to you frozen I'm going to give you an example like this one for instance this is sourdough bread and they already started cooking them and then they stop and freeze them and then you receive it and you put it in your oven and within 25 minutes you have a complete sourdough bread they do the same thing with pastries I have croissant I have cookies and I have pasta all sorts of things um, and they send me a box for me to review and try out and I have a referral link in the description with a discount for the first 50 people to join if they want to and then after the 1st of September there's another discount I think that's ten dollars off each box um, or your first box but anyway today I'm going to uh, show you what's in the box first I pre-filmed that actually a couple of weeks ago and then I am going to make, that's the first thing I'm going to make today, I'm going to make and try sourdough harvest bread. Um, and it says we use the old way of making bread with wild yeast that takes days from start to finish, providing nutrients, fiber-rich bran, proteins, probiotic, and vitamin-rich germs. Now, they are vegan, all of their uh, things are vegan. They are clean ingredients, uh, they are unbleached flours, they use non-GMO product, no artificial color or flavors, and they are also a good source of uh, fiber. So this sourdough bread has sourdough starter, whole wheat, wheat flour, water, pecans, cranberry, apricots, figs, candied ginger, and sea salt. Oh my god. I can't eat bread. I'm supposed to be gluten free, but I will try it. And then croissant. I have to try the croissant and see uh, what's up with that. For everything in the back of it, they tell you what to do. Uh, the baking instruction, you don't have to thaw, you bake from frozen, okay? This uh, croissant is at 380 temperature, 18 to 22 minutes. Actually, I have to put them back in the freezer. And then the sourdough bread is at 450 degrees, 18 to 24 minutes. None of the products, none of the breads require more than 25 minutes worth of oven time. So I'm going to put them both in the freezer. Um, I pulled them out to show you. I'm going to show you what's inside the box that I received. And then when I come back, we'll go straight into making sourdough bread. It's actually Thursday night and what I'm going to do, because I just received the box, I'm going to open it and show you what's inside, but I'm not going to bake anything yet. I'm going to wait for the weekend. So I want to show you what the box looks like. And again, Wild Grain sent me this uh, so that I can do a review. Um, and I'm super excited actually. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You get this big box that says perishable in here. I'm going to open it. Uh, let me pull it out. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Wild grain, enjoy. Um, there's dry rice in there, so that's probably for the freeze. And I can feel the cold. Okay. These are all the ice. Dry ice is cold. Okay. So this is what my box contains. Uh, four frozen croissants. And all of them, by the way, I don't know how they do it, but they are uh, 25 minutes or less uh, cooking time. So we got four croissants, butter croissants. These are giant chocolate chunk cookies. Uh, 
a sourdough bread. Ooh, you see it's already pre-cooked. You just got to, I guess, finish the cooking and reheat it. There's a lot of stuff. A slow fermented three seed bread. This is another sourdough bread, but this one is again not fully cooked, so you gotta finish it in the oven. And now we have pasta. We have Tonarelli's pasta. And this one is fettuccine, fresh pasta. And I believe that's it. So all of this is going into my freezer. And what I'm going to do uh, for the review is probably the sourdough bread that's not all the way cooked. And then I'll do the croissant. But again, you get all of this in the box. So sourdough bread, giant cookies, two pasta, croissant, another sourdough bread, and a slow fermented three seed bread. So what would be the advantage of having a box of wild grain? All right, because uh, there's a lot of boxes out there and subscriptions and clubs, you name it. But what would be the advantage of this one? Well, let's say you live in an area that doesn't really have access or easy access to bakery or uh, uh, large places where you can buy really good artisan bread. Or maybe you don't have the time to make your own bread. It does require a lot of work. I don't know if you've ever made bread, but it's not that easy. So if you have guests or if you have a large family, this could actually be saving you some time and you get good quality bread. Because let's face it, okay, when you go to your bread aisle at your supermarket that sliced bread, read the ingredients. Most of it is not what you would use in actual bread making. There's sugar added to it, there's uh, uh, various flavors, there's preservatives. It's not all that good of a bread loaf. This is the real deal, but they already kind of cook it for you. You just finish it off, basically. So you're gonna have the smell of bread in your house, the taste of quality bread for a fraction of the cost and a fraction of the time. That's the advantage of it. So, my oven is almost ready. Let's make some sourdough bread. So I don't really eat gluten anymore. Uh, I would say that I've reduced my gluten consumption uh, by at least 90, 95%. But I will try this because that smells amazing. Again, this is a sourdough bread with ginger and cranberry and walnut, mm. figs. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. It's the kind of bread you would expect from a fancy bakery, you know? 
like some fancy Italian place like we have Calandras and Ciancarellis in my area um, that's the kind of bread you would find at their place this is really good the only thing with that particular loaf is that it's small there's another loaf that you saw at the beginning of the video when I unpacked everything that's a three grain loaf this one is a little bit longer this I think would taste great with a camembert cheese or even with a uh, blue cheese um, it doesn't really fill up the room with the scent of sourdough bread I'm a little disappointed by that I wanted the whole house to smell like bread but um, it's it tastes great it really does it's the good bread all right let's make croissant I'm gonna use the same parchment paper Now croissant, fair warning, I know a thing or two about that. Okay, so we'll see if those are really, really good. I hope they are. We're just going to put one here. And those are not pre-cooked, I mentioned, right? These are straight dough. One here. And one here. Okay. And let's read about the croissant. Vegetarian, clean ingredients, unbleached flour, non-GMO, non-artificial color. Ingredients are wheat flour, butter, water, cane sugar, yeast, milk, eggs, and salt. Um, Preheat at 380. Oh, let's move it up a little bit. Place frozen croissant on the baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Put in the oven in the middle rack, 18 to 22 minutes until dark golden brown. Let cool for five minutes. 280 calories per croissant. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll have one bite, that's it, but I hope they're good. So you know this this whole theory that you cannot make a croissant outside of France um, that would taste the same because the butter is not the same, <laughs> the cows are not the same, the quality of the milk is not the same. So I'm gonna give this one a try. So far, the consistency is right. We got the right flakiness, and now I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna regret all of this because again, yeah, I'm supposed to be gluten free. They're good. They're not great, but they're good. Yeah, they're good. I'm not wowed. Um, again, kind of an expert on croissant. <laughs> um, but they, they're really good. With butter and jelly for breakfast, that'd be perfect. Uh, they're the kind of, you know, you can dunk them in coffee, in cafe au lait in the morning and close your eyes and you're in Paris. They're not the best croissant I ever had, but they're really good. They beat the Dunkin' Donuts one. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so I like the box. The bread that I made, the sourdough is very good. The croissants are good. Um, I'm looking forward to trying the pasta. And then I have another... Um, loaf of bread and then every month there's a dessert that's different this month's box had giant um chocolate chip cookies which i will make sometimes during the week the box itself is under 90 dollars i think i think it's like 89 dollars so again you get a 50 dollar off um for the first 50 who sign up for it and then after the first it's going to be uh, 10 dollar off is it worth the price i think it's a little pricey um, if you think about it, if you were going to a store and you were buying um, 
two loaves of bread, four croissants, four giant, no, six giant chocolate chip cookies, and two fresh pasta, would you be paying $90? Depending on where you go. In my area, no because we have a lot of Italians uh, and a lot, on, lot of Italian bakeries so each loaf of bread is probably going to be something like six seven dollars times so that's twelve so it's a little bit more money than what you would spend at your really good supermarket if it had like a real bakery it's definitely more money but it's fun um, it gives you the feel that you're making it yourself even though you're not it's kind of like when they created a uh, cake mix initially when they had the cake mix all you had to do was to just put the water in it and put it in the oven and the ladies they polled because you know back in the days when they had product well, I think they still do that actually when there's a new product they have like polls they have ladies coming in testers right said well it tastes good but what we don't like about it is that it doesn't feel like making a cake does this feel like making bread? Not really because the bread is already made. You didn't wait for it to rise and all of this stuff. You put it in the oven and that's it. It does smell really good. Um, so since this is supposed to be a review, I think it's a great gift to give somebody. The holidays are coming or perhaps if you have um, for the holidays, if you have family coming over and staying over at your house, get a box and you can serve fresh bread in the morning you can uh, serve fresh croissant in the morning but to get on a monthly basis I can see myself doing that and I think it's a little bit overpriced I'm being honest okay and you guys know when I do reviews I I will not sugarcoat it if I think the thing is amazing I'll let you know this I think is overpriced uh, the quality is there the croissants are good but they're not French croissant, okay? They're just not. Um, they have the right flakiness and everything, but it's missing something. And I think what it's missing is a little bit of the sour, and that's because they put sugar in it. Um, it's it's just missing something. It doesn't even smell like a, like a croissant. So I don't I don't know. It's it's better than Pillsbury croissant, and it's better than <laughs> um, even a Starbucks croissant but it's not there and to me it's a lot of money I would not buy it for myself um, and not just because of the gluten-free you know in the house I have three boys men in the house they definitely would use the stuff but I just think that you can find exactly the same thing already made at the store for less money than that um, so with the discount it's worthy Without the discount, no. So I like it. I don't love it. I like it. Would I get it for myself on an ongoing basis? No. But I'm very happy you guys sent me the box. So I was able to review it. Um, I think the quality is there for the bread. Definitely for the sourdough bread so far. And it's like a fun thing to do. So again, I think that it's better as a gift than it is um, for yourself. So. If you want to get a box for the holidays and have it shipped to your in-laws or uh, cousins or sister, brother, you know, grandpa, whatever, I think that's a good idea. Um, and that's probably what I would do. I'm a little disappointed by the croissant. <laughs> I have to be honest. Okay, so this was my review of Wild Grain. I give it a B plus if you want to get it. All the information is down below again don't forget that there's a uh, um, big discount right now for the first 50 people so you can be able to get a, a box for under 50 bucks um, but I'm not like wowed I'm not um, sorry <laughs> thank you well grain for sending it to me um, I did enjoy the whole process and and tasting and the sampling um, I just I'm just not wowed sorry I feel bad um, I feel bad but I'm just not wild so that was my review I hope you enjoyed this video and discovering new ways of bringing food into your house and discovering new foods I'm looking forward to the pasta actually you can't go wrong with pasta 
Um, and then the cookies, the kids are definitely going to like that because you can't go wrong with chocolate either. And that would be it. So you can, if you want to see more reviews, um, I have a lot of new stuff in the background that's coming up soon for review. Um, check me out. You can subscribe right here in the corner. And then you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at My Great Challenge. And my Etsy shop for channel merch, my great challenge gift, and my vintage finds at Frenchie and Tubby on Etsy. And for more behind the scene and exclusive content, I am on Patreon at patreon.com slash my great challenge. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.